Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, my Hermes Ambassador, and uh, it's in flawless condition. Uh, cosmetically, it's got some, you know, some nicks and stuff, but mechanically, it's uh, really unlike anything I've ever used, and uh, definitely one of the smoothest typing experiences. The only thing that kind of sucks is the platen is just rock hard, and it puts holes through paper, but... Um, other than that, it's a pretty sweet machine. I'm going to give it a type sample here in a second. The ribbon is super dry. You might not even be able to see it at all, but at the very least, you'll be able to hear how it sounds and how it operates. It's uh, pretty awesome. The uh, paper feed, this, uh, I think they call it paper injector, this thing, just that thing is awesome. And you'll see how it feeds paper right in. I want to make sure that that's in view. And, um, got these things right here. Let's fold up paper support, which is almost 10 inches, you know, fully extended. More than adequate. But, um, yeah, so I'll show you. So that's the paper. I don't want to be in the shot. And, of course, I'm going to be. And you can see it brought it right... <laughs> You know, you can you can set however far you want it to bring it up higher, lower. There's a little dial right here. There. Goddamn fly! This is the uh, spacing. There's you know five settings. And I don't even know what some of these do. This one, for instance, no idea what that does. Sorry, but um, yeah, this thing is this thing is sweet. The tab functions, the backspace, and uh, the color selector is this little dial right here. Anyways, I'm gonna do a type sample and. Um, That's good right there. So yeah, the carriage too is like, it's like unreal. think I have the margins set way out here. This thing has a huge platen, obviously. But I want you to hear the bell. Yeah, not much of a bell. Um, I think these are the margins. Yeah. So they're right there. And so it's basically, you know, it's got the equivalent of like magic margins, basically these little buttons, um, you know, similar to the ones on the Hermi 3000, I think, as far as function, I, I forget whether the 3000 has them on top or in the front here or whatever. But um, yeah, it basically has a, a magic margin function. And uh, try that again. Yeah, so you can barely hear the bell. I don't even know if you heard it. But um, I'm going to roll this out. Well, let me do a proper... Give you the caps and everything. And you can see this thing hauls ass. I mean, it really, 
you can type really fast. It's got an elite 12 point font. But um, yeah, seriously, this ribbon is like shot and I don't even know how this printed. It does, it's, it really, it smacks the platen pretty hard. Um, I don't know if you can tell by the sound, but uh, yeah, that's the imprint. And uh, it's a great machine. I really want to get the platen recovered um, because it, this is a real workhorse. Um, I would only want it to be in a 10 pitch, but I know some people actually prefer the uh, the elite 12 pitch font. So that's that. And um, tab button right here. I don't think I have any tabs set. Yeah, I guess I have a few set. Um, ribbon color selector here. This is how you get to the ribbon. And this thing has one of the more elaborate uh, setups I've seen for a ribbon. Because obviously this is where the spool goes. Then it goes through a little guide here. And then it goes through these. And then finally it gets over here to the... Uh, you know, to the actual vibrator mechanism. But, um, just so legit. These things, these, uh, these little plastic things, I've never actually messed with them, but, uh, I'm fairly... S oh, that's right, you turn them. Yeah. You just turn them left or right, I could tell something was not right, me pulling on it. But, um, you know, the, the fact that this still works after however long, you know. I think this machine is from... I, I have it somewhere. Um, I think it's the late 50s or maybe the early 60s. One of those decades. Sorry, I wish I could be more precise. but And then here is the uh, the touch adjuster right here this thing and um, as always I keep it on the the easiest setting but um, yeah this is a this is a sweet machine you know it's a nice big standard workhorse and um, again if this was a 10 pitch I think it'd be tough to let go of but uh, I just I don't I don't really like the 12 pitch font. It's really the only thing for me. So yeah, Hermes Ambassador.